Kia ora, hi there. This is the video for the QTQ support and discussion session. Uh, basically just a bunch of resources. This video is just to help make those resources a little bit more accessible, um, giving a bit more background information and putting it in video style just so that it's not a big wall of text and links. So if that's what you're interested in, then you can continue on with this video. I'll just introduce myself firstly, kia ora, I'm Erin, uh, they them pronouns. Uh, I started the QTQ discussion and support group on the Whakatomai website. The goal was to use my own lived experience to help others um, create a more welcoming interse intersectional um, and compassionate support group. Uh, with the help of everyone that joined us along the way, uh, the guests, peer support and tech support, this group was possible. So just a big thank you to them in this video as well. Um, just thanking them for contributing to this group that we had uh, each week um, and creating really meaningful connections, great discussion um, and talking about a range of topics around this session. Uh, so basically, this is just a compilation of resources. Um, they might be helpful, interesting, um, or I can just provide a bit more information if you're scrolling through them and just wanted a bit of background before you engage in them. So to start off, I've just got some general resources to go over. The first one here is the Be There resources. Uh, it's a national initiative by the youth sector. It's kind of uh, collaborative between a bunch of different organizations. Uh, it does say it's kind of youth focused, but there are a lot of different links on that website there. Uh, they've got international resources, resources for Fano, um, or resources for um, you as an individual as well. So it is quite a good one if you're just wanting a general look at resources, um, support, uh, uh, just check out that page there. The next one I've got is Rainbow Youth. Once again, it is a bit more youth focused, but it does have some really good information on the website as well. Uh, you can also get in touch with them. They provide uh, a number of resources and services for queer and gender diverse youth um, across uh, Aotearoa as well. So it is good for general information, um, or if you are youth yourself, I think the definition is under 24, um, but you can always check out their website and see if there's anything that's helpful for you there. Next, I've got the Intersex Trust Aotearoa New Zealand. Um, it's a registered charitable trust, provides information, education, and training for organizations and professionals um, who provide services for intersex people in their whānau as well. Uh, it's a good one. It obviously kind of is a little bit more professionally geared based on that description there, but it does just have uh, some general information and you can also get in contact with them. So if you or someone you know is intersex, um, want some support or some information, that's definitely a good one um, to get in touch with as well. Continuing on with these general resources, we've got the Takatapui Resource Hub, um, which is a great one if you're kind of not sure what takatapui means, if you are takatapu yourself um, or your whānau is kind of new to that idea as well. The website um, just kind of has a links to some booklets and other things. Uh, I found that one quite interesting and useful at the same time as well. Uh, next, we've got Gender Minorities Aotearoa. They're quite a hub of resources on that website. They are a nationwide transgender organization. They're run by and for trans people, um, and they can provide a bunch of support for people of all ages, cultures, backgrounds, and they also provide one-to-one -one peer support. Uh, they're really good for information, so most things under the sun you can find on that website. Um, I've used the site myself, and I definitely find it quite useful. Uh, Gender Minority is also linked to a op shop um, which does some uh, fundraising for them. It's called Auntie Dana's. It's based in Newtown, Wellington. So it's good to pop in there if you're interested and want some cheap clothes as well. Uh, and upstairs, they've also got the Gender Center, which is a drop-in peer support. It's only available uh, a couple of days of the week. But if you're not based in Wellington or you wanted to get in touch for peer support, just having any questions or wanting some more information, then you can always get in contact with them, there definitely are contact um, information available on the website there as well. Continuing on from that, I've got some links to rights and advocacy resources. Uh, the first website I've got there is the Rainbow Rights website. 
uh, this website aims to provide accessible information on the legal rights of rainbow young people in Aotearoa. Once again, they say young people, but it is kind of just very general information. Um, it offers information about legal rights uh, just in Aotearoa in general and how they can relate to uh, you if you are a gender diverse, intersex or queer person. Um, it is quite useful in general for information. Um, so that's a good one to check out if you're just kind of looking in general to see kind of what the bounds of your legal rights are in Aotearoa. The next one here I haven't used myself but it does look quite um, useful so if you or someone you know is a refugee or asylum seeker uh, living in Aotearoa and um, they identify as under the LGBT uh, community then this website is really useful it can provide support uh, links people to lawyers and different organizations and services so they can do advocacy and all sorts of other things uh, it seems really useful so um, once again if you or someone you know is um, an asylum seeker or refugee in Aotearoa, that might be a good website to get in touch with. The next one I've got here linking back is Gender Minorities Aotearoa once again. Like I said, they are quite the hub of information. I've specifically just linked their human rights and discrimination page here as well under this topic, um, just because it's got a really good list of information there. Um, they've got kind of the bills and laws directly linked there that you can have a read over. Um, it is quite helpful, but it can be a bit jargony because it is linking directly to the laws and bills there. So there is also a contact link if you scroll to the bottom of the page um, and that way you can get support or information relating directly to your situation or questions that you have. Next here, I've got uh, some local resources. It is kind of hard to compile uh, local resources across Aotearoa. So I found this quite helpful website called the I'm Local Project. Uh, it focuses on contacting high schools, medical centers, hospitals, libraries, marais and community centers, more so in rural and isolated areas of Aotearoa. Um, they provide free resources about gender, sexuality, um, all sorts of things like that. So it's awesome that they're doing that as well, but they do also have um, just kind of links to local resources around the country. So if you have a look on the website, I've just got a photo here as well. You'll see a map of Aotearoa, New Zealand, and you can just click on your local area. Um, it does have some general resources and it has some local resources depending on the area that you click. So if you are looking to get in touch with someone, peer support groups, all that sort of things, or just want to see what's available in your area at the moment, uh, the local project website seems like quite a good option there as well. Next, we've got some videos. This is more so for um, something a bit more fun and interesting, or if you just prefer video style information. Uh, the first one I've got there is uh, about Takatapui individuals in Wellington. It's called um, Urban in Takatapui. It's a 14 minute sort of interview style video. Um, it interviews a bunch of different Takatapui people in the Wellington region um, and kind of covers around the intersection of being queer and Māori. Um, which is really interesting. So that one is quite a good watch. The next one that we've got here is He Takatapui Aho. It's a 12 minute video on the Someday Stories Facebook page. Um, it is more kind of an artistic story style one. I found it really, really interesting to watch. Um, and it's basically just about a non-binary person who returns to the marae and kind of just faces dealing with being a Takatapui person um, back in their hometown. So it is quite a nice watch. Um, it's just a 12 minute video available there as well. Next, um, I've just got some research as well as another video here. Both of these links are related to um, Dr. Elizabeth Kirikiri. The first part of that is her thesis, um, which is just about the emergence of the Takatapui identity. Um, it is quite an easy read for a thesis. I've read a decent amount of it myself, um, and you can view it for free on that website that I've linked there. You can just press view, open, um, and open that PDF there. So like I said, it is quite an easy read. It's basically just talking about the emergence of the Takatapu identity. It does also have some kind of research-based information um, from some interviews with Takatapu and Māori people. Um, so yeah, I found that really interesting and kind of just gives a really in-depth background uh, about what Takatapu means. Um, and yeah, it's really interesting to read. But 
but if you don't like reading very much or you just want a general idea want something a bit more quick to watch or some quicker information I've also got a video there um, just on the New Zealand Herald website once again it's from Elizabeth Kirikiri there's just a video which talks about the emergence of the Takata Pui um, kind of term or label there uh, as you can see on the left I've just got a photo there it has kind of a bit of an animation associated with it so it's really good to watch if you're kind of curious about where the term came from or the story behind it um, and then it also involves a couple of interviews there with Takasapu individuals so that's a good one if you don't want to read the thesis or you just want a bit more information um, about the background of Takasapu. Awesome. And lastly, I've just got um, some links to help find support. So if you're looking for uh, some support now or wanting to get in touch with support or just seeing what's out there, here's a couple of links that are quite useful. The first one we've got here is the New Zealand AIDS Foundation Free Counselling. They can provide free counselling to people who are affected by living with HIV. Next, we've got the Talking Works website. Uh, I've used this one myself. I find it quite easy to use. It's basically just a hub of uh, counsellors, psychotherapists and psychologists across New Zealand Aotearoa. Um, the cost of individual people can vary because it is a hub, um, but they also offer to search by ACC registered counsellors, which if you do have um, an ACC claim, it is free. And they also have a bunch of different things that you can filter by. So if there's a particular style of therapy that you're looking for, um, or some with certain areas of expertise, you can just go and filter and you can also filter by your regions. So I find it quite easy to use. Each individual person kind of has their own profile there. Most people have photos, a bit of a description um, of themselves and what they offer, as well as usually links to the individual websites as well. Um, so that's definitely a good one if you just want to see what's out there or get an idea of who's kind of in your area in terms of getting support. Lastly, we've got outline there. Uh, there's an 0800 number available. Uh, you can call them from 6 to 9 p.m. every evening. It's a free support line for rainbow specialist counselling um, and trans peer support. It is a bit of a limited time frame there. So if you're not able to or don't want to call them, there is also that website there available. You can always get in touch with them um, on the website and they have a bunch of different um, supports and kind of peer groups available on that website as well. So that is also a good one to check out the link or call if you wanted to chat with someone directly. Awesome. So that's all for the resources for the QTQ discussion group. Um, just a big kia ora. Thank you um, for everyone. And hopefully you find these resources helpful.